Hello lovies, welcome back to my channel. Today is day five, blouses and bottoms. <laughs> so excited, so excited. So much has happened already over the last few days. My life is completely different, if I can only tell you so many things that have happened. So I hope you're getting that much out of it too, and I do want to jump right in. But first, I just want to remind you to please like and subscribe. It really helps with the YouTube algorithms, all of those things. So if you're getting any value out of this, please do that. That'll help me so much. <laughs> I appreciate it. So today, like I said, we're just going to jump in. We're going to do blouses and bottoms, and really, it's just the other half of the closet. So I'm excited. We're going to get to it. And before we do, remember, I have the one little thing that has helped keep me going. <laughs> Aside from this end game and this big vision that we went over day one is my lavender sachet. And, you know, just to remind you of getting something to help ground you in the experience, a cup of tea, candle, fragrance, lotion, maybe take a bath before and or after. <laughs> something just to, to help celebrate uh, the experience you're going through and also to ground you here and get you going. So mm, I'll stick with the lavender. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Okay, I think we're ready to go and let's get to it. So excited. <laughs> here we go. All right, guys. So here is the other side of my closet. These are all the blouses and bottoms. Really, it's just pants, mostly jeans and a, maybe a couple other pants and I don't typically do skirts. They don't just, they don't work well with my body. I prefer dresses if I'm going to do something like that. About a third of this are jackets and outerwear, so we won't even touch that today. Um, really, there's just a handful of blouses and pants, so it should go pretty quick. I and mean, you could tell I'm definitely not a minimalist and wait till you see <laughs> certain parts of my collection. Definitely not a minimalist, but I might be called maybe a mediumist or a lovest. <laughs> like I just keep the things I really love and that I wear. And I definitely like to have a wardrobe that I'm prepared to do any event I might have to do on like a drop of a dime or um, also again, like what I'm creating in my life and what I want to do. I want to make sure my wardrobe supports me in that. So I feel like that's successful and I have pretty much have the wardrobe of my dreams. I mean, again, these designers need to get their act together and offer us plus size clothing. <laughs> and maybe they shouldn't because it's probably better for my bank account. But aside from that, what's available to me right now, I, I kind of love the clothing I have. So let's love it even more. Let's get to it. I'm going to throw everything on the bed as we do, get everything out, and then we'll just go through one by one and see what we want to keep and what we want to get rid of. is something I don't want to keep. So, hmm, this might be a no to start off with actually. It looks pretty worn. I do love this. It's just a comfy longer sleeve with lace on the top, this navy blue that I love, but it just looks so worn. Like the, there's little strings that are coming off and all of that. So this one's gonna go. I liked it enough. This I've had for a really long time. And I don't wear it too often, but if I have to do like some business casual type thing, it's just a really pretty pattern on me and color. So I will keep that and then it has a little cami that goes underneath. And actually I might move this because I could wear this and with other things. So I think I'll move that into my undergarment drawer and I'm going to keep this one. Yeah, it still looks like it has, uh, yeah, I don't know. Hmm, it might be time to get rid of it. I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile. Thinking of it now, like in my mind, I feel like I wanna keep it, but I think it's, it's feeling kind of lackluster, actually. There's, you know, some pilling. 
that happens. Yeah, I think I might let this go. I'm gonna put it in the maybe pile, but the life in it is not vibrant. I want all high vibe vibrancy. <laughs> That's how I do it. So I'll keep this in the maybe pile for now. All right, this is a fantastic color in me, just a casual, lovely top. This one I'm keeping and it's kind of newer. So the cute pile I think I'll put closest to me. And this is so fun. I will totally keep this. This is like a New Year's Eve <laughs> little, you know, fun with like a pair of jeans and some pumps or is that what they call them? Heels! <laughs> Pump sounds super like 1980. Anyway, so I'm keeping that for sure. I like this too. This is also kind of winter casual. With, I have this lovely Chanel tote bag that I love, chocolate brown, and it looks really great with this. And I usually wear like a peach cardigan and it's so cute. I'm keeping that. Totally love it. Love the print. Yeah, this is easy. Easy yes. We're gonna get through these guys and now we are quickly. I can feel it. I'm very excited. Ooh, this one's a no. I can see a little stain. I don't know if you can see it on the camera there, but it's stained, there's makeup. It's just not, mm -mm. not nope, not it. That one is going. All right, I'm gonna make a little pile of the hangers. Okay, this also feels Something I'd love to wear and it just feels kind of yucky. There's strings there. Yeah, it's just not mm -mm, kind of stained on the bottom too. So this I'll get rid of also. These are all the things that I loved, but again, everything has a, a lifespan. One thing or the other. This looks good. How does it look on camera? Yeah, this is something I like. I like the, the, you guys know, I mean, if you know me, you know I love lace and floral. I've probably said it 500 times already. <laughs> Definitely suits me. Um, and I love the pink and still looks pretty good. Just inspecting it closer. There might be a little stain. Is that what that is? There's a stain. I'm not keeping it. It's hard to tell. Hmm. This one almost has me stumped. <laughs> There's like a little something there, but I can't tell. This one I am going to get rid of because I do think that's a little stain. I'm trying to pretend that it's not, <laughs> but it is. Okay, this you might remember from when I did the workout gear a couple days ago. This one is fine and good shape. Oh wait, I think I have really good lighting because I'm seeing every little stain. There is a stain here too. It's pretty big actually. So, all right. I guess this is great to do this declutter in front of the big lights. <laughs> Nothing is getting by me today. <laughs> this I love. Again, lace, floral lace. Totally the thing. It's a fun purple. I wear, you know, usually like a dark blue cami underneath. And actually it's on backwards. So I'm going to re that and hang it back up but yeah this I totally keep this I'll wear it on you know a little night out with a fun heel and a cute bag that kind of a thing so this I'll keep this is great I love this this is just you know kind of casual kind of just put together casual and it looks good still so keeping this floral again you guys know I'm into my florals this is super duper casual this is like if I'm going for a walk around the block with my son. <laughs> it's floral, it's blue, it's purple. Some of my favorite, and pink, these are, you know, some of my favorite colors. And it's actually Disney, and it says princess <laughs> right here. I'm telling you, I never grew up. There's a part of me that loves, I love Disney with, oh, that's one of my favorite things. <laughs> Watch a, a good Disney movie, Cinderella, like the remake, the latest one, my fave. Um, this doesn't look good anymore at all. Nope, it is not in good shape, so I will get rid of it. I've used it a lot. This is just a fun around the house with some leggings look. This is great, a nice floral. This again, I wear with leggings usually too. Super bright, look at the colors, so cute. This I'll keep for sure, still looks great. Yep, absolutely. 
All right, here are some sweaters that I know I probably shouldn't hang because it's not doing good things for it. Maybe I'll find a, a place to keep them folded. This is kind of a thick, heavy sweater. The purple I love, and it looks good. I think I just need to fold them and they'll do better. Um, so I'll remember that for next time I pull these out for fall and winter, but this one I will keep. Sweaters. This is kind of a newer sweater. It's super bright pink, super fun. It almost might be too bright for me, but if I'm feeling bold, I think it'll work just fine. So this one I'll keep. I haven't worn it yet, actually. Keep that. This I wear a lot. This is just a nice, you know, that baby pink color. Usually I wear it kind of casual, so all big, like oversized fit. And I just wear it with some leggings usually, and it looks good. So I'll keep in that one. All right, this, you guys, I knew it. We're just going to get through these super quick I'm in the momentum I mentioned the momentum and it's happening <laughs> the momentum is here okay so this looks great this is a lovely kind of lilac pink blouse perfect the sleeves are a little capped which is so cute for me love that this I wear often too this is this nice peachy blouse I'll make sure that it looks good and there's no stains Yep, looks good. Keeping that one. Right, this I haven't worn yet. And the color might be a little too muted for me. I still haven't decided. It might work and it might not. But And again, one thing, so once you know your colors, again, like in the system I've created, I'm a daisy. This might err on the side of rose. So we have a daisy, a rose, a marigold, and an orchid. Those are the four essences in my system. This might be more of a rose color, but one way I could tell if I put it up to other colors that I know are daisies, and you kind of see how it looks together. If you have the right colors, then they'll all just look good together, and I think it does. Maybe I'll look at it closer on the camera later to see, but from here it looks like it's doing great. If you ever have doubts, so I'm gonna keep this, but if you ever have doubts, you guys, on how things are looking on you, and you're not quite sure, try them on and take a picture or a video and the camera does not lie. <laughs> You'll see how it looks on you. If um, you take a, a photo of something in the right colors for you, it'll get sharper, crisper, make you look lovely. And it's kind of hard to be objective on yourself, but what I would do is take a picture of something you know you feel great in, a color you know you love and that works for you, and then take a picture of something that you're on the fence about or maybe a color you know that doesn't work and look at them side by side and you'll notice the color that does work for you will or the garment I should say because there's other things to consider it's not just color but the one that works for you will make it sharper and crisper and bring you to life and it'll be so obvious when you have them side by side so a little tip that the camera doesn't lie and you can use it as a tool as you shop and also purge your things okay this works great Lovely little heart blouse, it's so cute. And maybe before the pants, I'll get through these last things. I told you it was gonna be quick, look at this, love it. This is a great sweater. I like it because I don't like to have really heavy clothing on. I kind of like things crisper and lighter and, and this has all these little holes in it so that kind of makes it work. It's not a super heavy material. And I think this still works too. Again, I need to find a place where I could fold the sweatshirts and maybe after this declutter that will happen for me. <laughs> maybe I'll find make some more room and some space. Okay, and this is a lovely green sweater. Totally great. This I could still wear for sure. All right, and this is a nice great purple sweater. And this one going look back. Yeah, this one for sure. Keeping that. All right. That's all the boxes. I told you I don't have very many. Okay, pants, here we go. And I don't think you, I'm not even gonna take them off the hangers. I would probably recommend you do if you have a massive declutter to go through so you can really feel them. And But I just have such a few pair that I know what works and what doesn't. And these totally work. These are just kind of a skinnier jean, darker wash, but still kind of a light and bright color. This I just got and I love. These are like, what do you call them, culottes? <laughs> it's like something my grandma used to 
talk about, but they're so comfy. These are like leggings, but way better. <laughs> and I wore these the other day shopping. I just put a super cute, like a little white fitted tank and little jean jacket with my Chanel jumbo beige double flap. These are some slacks. I never wear these ever. They're navy. They fit well. They're very comfy. Just there's no real need for me to wear slacks. I do have, however, I do have this really pretty purple sequined blouse that I have been known to wear if I go somewhere fancy and I don't want to wear a dress. And so these work well with that, so I think I will keep them for that. All right, these are jeans I just got. So, oh my gosh, you guys, so comfy. There's this elastic waist and a little tie string. It's delightful. I actually got two pairs that are the same and different. One's kind of a lighter wash and one's medium, so we'll keep those. All right, what have we got here? Three more pairs. This is another like kind of skinny jean. A little lighter wash, distressed. These are definitely on the tighter side. These are like my skinny, skinny jeans. They're still in my size, but it's like tricky. <laughs> like I need a shoehorn to get them on sometimes. So I think if I, you know, drop just a couple pounds, they'll feel better. I don't really go for them that much for that reason, but I, I will, you know, weight always fluctuates just a little. I wouldn't recommend keeping things a size or two out of where you are right now, but if it's in your size and just a little snug, I think that that's fine. As long as it doesn't make you feel bad, <laughs> because it's never a good thing to feel bad about your clothing. Okay, these are fun. I like these. These are kind of more of a boyfriend cut, a fun bright blue denim. And lastly, these are more of a boot cut. They've definitely seen a better day at the bottom because they're pretty long. And if I don't wear them with a high enough heel, but they fit very well and the color's fantastic. Light and bright and I think that's fine. Just a little spray at the bottom, it's fine. So that's it, you guys. The only thing, we have one more blouse. And remember, I'm still, hmm. I don't know, I'm, I'm considering parting with this for no other reason that, except I've had it for so long, probably nine years, 10 years. And hmm, I think the energy is just off now. I don't know, let me see. How does it look? <laughs> let me come in front and see. Hard to tell. Okay guys, this I'm not sure. I went and looked in the mirror with it and it was hard to tell. I think I need to take time to actually wear it and try it on and see if it's doing anything for me. It does feel like the fabric has just lost some life, but maybe it's on its last season. So I think I'll bring it back next fall and winter and keep it for this season. That's my final answer. Keeping it, maybe not for long, but definitely, this is a fantastic buy for me. That's it. So this is the keep pile, very little in the, the sell pile. Here. All right guys, so the keep pile is most of it. <laughs> I only got rid of maybe four or five items, which is great. I kind of knew that just this section of my closet, I've maintained pretty well. So that's what I'm keeping and now I'll put it back and show you the after. All right guys, so that's it. That was easy peasy. So quick, so easy. Day five done. Let's mark it in the books. <laughs> I did decide after all to get rid of that blue and teal blouse. I just had it so long and it feels meh. It just feels drab and I can do better. So <laughs> there's a the closet, we're done. Fantastic. We will see you tomorrow, day six. Oh my gosh, tomorrow is swimwear. It's swimwear. It is going to be summer soon. So <laughs> it's kind of exciting. So thanks for hanging in there with me and getting through it. We're getting through it, guys. <laughs> Halfway through, officially. Fantastic. Good work. Keep it up. Please follow me on Instagram. I'm at laurasparkles underscore. Please like the video and subscribe so you can get all the notifications and look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye.